Hi guys, it's Jen from Cheeky Move Face Painting. Today I'm going to demonstrate some double dip flowers. This is a super simple technique that anybody can do at home. Even the kids can have a go. Um, what you'll need is some light colored paint, so white or yellow, and a high contrasting color, so uh, purple, dark pink, blue, anything that's high contrasting, and also some green for the leaves. You'll need a flannel or a towel to wipe off the paintbrush and you'll need some round brushes. So anything with sort of long bristles, a bit of a point on the end is good. This is just a cheap um, Ikea children's paintbrush from one of their sets. So yeah, I'm gonna do some vines first just to help with placement, but this is a totally optional step. You don't need to do this. Um, so we're gonna load up some green. So basically just gonna do some swirls. And then we'll use white for this, and I'm gonna use this brush. So you're gonna load up the paint quite thick. You can do this with Snazaroo paint. Um, this is DFX white. It's a bit of a thicker paint than the, the Snazaroo, but Snaz will work fine. So you load it up quite thick and gloopy. Make sure you get all the bristles coated. When you think you have enough, you just add some more, just to be safe. And then you're gonna wipe the tip off. So you have a dry paintbrush on the end. I'll use the dark pink for this one, so you just rub in just the tip of the brush. Pick up some of the dark color. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your paintbrush straight up and down. I'm not gonna lay it to the side or 45 degrees, straight up and down. You touch the tip of the brush, and then let the bristles bend, and there you go. So you're letting the paintbrush do all the work. Do a five petal flower. Do some more over here. Again, straight up and down, bristles are bending, not the brush. And if you load it properly, you should be able to get two or three uh, flowers out of one load. You can do a couple little spare petals. And just to show you, you can do it with a different shape or size of the brush. We'll use the smaller round. Uh, wipe the tip off again. This time I'll do a triple dip. So I'll do some pink. And then we'll do a bit of dark purple on the, the very tip of the paintbrush. So just to show you, the smaller the brush, the smaller the flower. And we'll get some yellow for the centers of the flowers. So you can either do a single dot Or you could do multiples. Add some extra dots for more interest. Now with this technique you can also do butterflies, so I'll show you that. So you can do two styles of butterfly, you can do sort of the straight on. Or you can do sort of a flying butterfly, so a side on. There you go. So you've got some butterflies you can do, some flowers. You can do this technique with acrylic paint on paper. Um, obviously you don't use acrylic paint on the skin. You should always use face paint for face and body. 
I've done some on some stones. Um, yeah, so it's a really simple technique that anybody can do. If you have a go, please do post some photos um, on this feed or on my Facebook page, it's Cheeky Move Face Painting. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message.